what up neighbors welcome back welcome back y'all it's been a minute since i don't talk to my neighbors while riding home y'all mm. i already did a video coming coming home but you know what though i got to mess with these folks in traffic and i didn't want y'all to see all of that that was the authentic me this is the shave down authentic me but i still be fussing in traffic y'all i still got a little road rage and I'm still praying, asking God to work on me and work that out of me. Because you know these folk crazy this day and time. Folk pulling up beside people shooting. And see? <laughs> and this morning traffic, when it's raining, it ain't no joke. People really and truly act like they don't know how to drive. But we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about... Christmas shopping. Y'all, have y'all done all y'all Christmas shopping yet? Because I thought I had finished mine, but apparently when I went in my office this morning, I had some gifts sitting on my desk. And I was not intending on planning on getting nobody for my job any gifts. Get what I'm saying? But then they got me gifts and I just feel like, dang, I got to get them a gift in return. Mm. And it's like, I don't know what these people want. I don't know what they like. And what makes it so bad? These folks is not friends. They're associates. <laughs> okay. Shoot. And it's like, now I got to stop. Well, I'm thinking I'm done. Just going to wrap up all these gifts. You know, and majority of my gifts, y'all, ain't even three people. So, four, really. Four people that I really want to buy something for. You get what I'm saying? And the rest of my family, I'm like, nope, 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 nope. Cause we got a lot of babies coming in, the, in my family. So, that gifts is going to, toward the baby registry. Cause y'all, ain't even gonna lie, I'm a good auntie, I show out on baby registry. Y'all, I be buying and buying and buying like, like that's my child. So, they'll get theirs then. One is in February and one is in April. Ooh. And we just had one not too long ago. Uh, maybe she was. She three months old. Miss uh, Miss Navelle. My little mini sunshine. Yes. So. Mm, yeah. But anywho, I got to stop, which I did not want to do to try to find some gifts for these three people that actually put gifts on my desk. So I got to spend money to get three more gifts. And I hope y'all done done all y'all Christmas shopping. And I hope and pray y'all stay safe. And I got one more day to work. So that means we will be off on Thursday and Friday. So we get that four day weekend. Mm-hmm. And with that, y'all, let me do a little advertising. For the ones that don't know, I put I made some Christmas totes. And I call them Christmas rope totes. Because I did the handle out of that rough, that uh rough rope or nautical rope. And I used some nautical rope, the natural kind, and then I used some of the rough kind of uh, nautical rope. The garden rope is what they call it. So y'all. I did not expect the bags, and I made somewhat maybe like mm, 27, 30 bags, just mixture of bags. Uh, Buffalo check, snowman, the farm, it, the uh, fresh farm, Christmas trees, and I did the black and white check. Y'all, I did not know those bags would sell the way that they done, and the price on them was pretty decent. So, and you know, this was this was me testing the water, seeing what people purchased the, the product. Get what I'm saying? But I made a little profit, but I think I sold the bags a little too low, and I'm still learning the process of uh, how to price my. Don't you do it? I'm still learning the process of how to price my products. And here he come. Watch. And then he gonna drive slow coming up beside me. Y'all see him, right? No, y'all don't see him. Because I ain't got the camera up. 
But yeah, <laughs> I don't care. Just don't pull nothing out and try to kill me now. <laughs> Woo. But anywho, I'm getting off off subject. Y'all, I always do that, get up off subject. But y'all, with Kwanzaa coming up, y'all know Kwanzaa is the um, handmade gifts, right? So for all my Kwanzaa shoppers, please go check out my uh, online store at candycanecorners.com and you will find handmade items or products that I think you will really, really love. So why not check it out and see what it's about? Okay, I, I know you're trying to get over, but you just gonna have to wait and get behind me. Don't be trying to rush up and start me like that. I told you to keep drive crazy, but here I am jumping off subject again. Because I'm driving y'all in this traffic and they are driving straight crazy <laughs> today. I'm just trying to stay on my side of the road. <laughs> but anywho, hopefully now I can get out what I'm trying to say. I, I tested the totes. I think I sold them too cheap, but they got gone all of them i didn't make up i made a profit put it that way i made a profit off of them but not a big profit because a lot of the profit that i made it went back into the material of making more bags that kept selling and selling and i'm like dang i didn't know it was gonna sell like that so i thank god for the people that actually went on my store and purchased these bags as well as y'all i gotta say my my uh officers man they on point my officers always take care of me they got bags for their sisters their moms their wife their girlfriends um and i am so appreciative of the business that i did get selling the bags and i also sold or have on my store that I need y'all to check out, okay? They are unisex uh, wooden bracelets that's on my store. A lot of guys been checking out the wooden chunky bracelets, the unisex bracelets. So y'all, please go on there. All my Kwanzaa folk, as well as none Kwanzaa, if you just want to buy your sweetheart something coming up for Valentine's, that's coming up as well as well as y'all now i know i'm gonna make valentine totes because i think you know I, the way the christmas totes so i think i'm gonna just go ahead and try the valentine totes do them like seasonal like i do my wreaths do seasonal totes you know hopefully they'll sell just as well as my christmas totes did but my valentine totes will be a little more expensive because I plan to try to, I'm, I want to sell some empty, but I also want to sell some stuff too, like putting Valentine's stuff in it. But that is my plan. That is what I'm working on. So a lot of the profit that I made or the little profit that I made, thank you Jesus for whatever, how big or small, I thank God that people are checking out the website and actually purchasing from the website. So, and that website again is Candy Cane corners with a s dot com and you can i have various payment methods i have apple pay i have paypal i have uh cash i also have uh visa mastercard anything you got to pay with you can pay because it does accept all of that and it's an automatic when you do order just be mindful that hey it's going to automatic com uh, compute your shipping and handling in there, depending on where you stay. Okay. But anyway, people that actually know me and ask me personally, hey, can you make this and bring it to me? There's no uh, tax or no shipping or nothing like that. So, But for the ones that stays away and stay a long distance and want it, it is a, I think it's four. $4.99, but I think it's a discount on the shipping. It's like $4.30 now. $4.30 for shipping and handling. So, I just need y'all to do that solid. Share the, share the web page or share it with your friends and family and, you know, just think of me 
during this Christmas season or this New Year season or this uh, Kwanzaa season as well as Valentine's think of me and say well okay let me check out Candy Cane Corners they may have something on there for my sweetheart or my darling okay or my baby check that out show a sister some support okay can y'all do me that solid and I would appreciate it as well as y'all need to be safe if you are traveling Please be safe. Please stay masked up and sanitized. Because I'm only letting three people in my house. Oh, okay. When the state locked down or talk about locking down, go to do too. Because guess what? I'm OCD. If I vacuum and I sweep before folk leave, uh, uh, I, I'm OCD, y'all. And that's to the 10th power. I don't like clutter. And I don't I think I done told y'all this before. Clutter makes my life, I be I be anxious. When it's a lot of clutter, it's like my life ain't right. And that includes my car, y'all. When you if you ever ride with me or you see my vehicle, it ain't dirty. It ain't got jack in it. Except for this car seat back here. And the stuff that I put over here in this seat when I'm getting on work. And my umbrella. That's it. But the arm. Woo, slow it down. You know this is a deep curve. Come on. See? I want to live for the new year. Going around these curves like this, and then you meeting somebody that's going sitting around a curve like this darn Mustang right here. Come on. All over here on my side, off the yellow line. Come on. Really? That makes me got to slide on over in this wet grass over here. Or this wet mud. But again, God got his hands on me, protecting me. Thank you, Jesus, for that. And I just pray that he protect each and every one of you guys. If y'all travel, protect y'all from hurt, harm, and danger, sickness, and diseases. Keep y'all safe and out of harm's way, seen and unseen. Okay? That's my prayer to you guys. And I am about to get up off this phone or this camera because I'm on my phone. And I'm about to run up in this store to see what I can find. Some gifts, they not gonna be cheap, but they ain't gonna be expensive either for the ones that actually put something on my desk cause I feel obligated not to purchase them some gifts. Get what I'm saying? <sighs> but anyway, y'all stay blessed, stay faithful, stay humble. And if you're gonna give anybody anything, Y'all do it from the heart. And don't be like me right now. Don't do it begrudging. Because that's what I'm... That's, that's the state I'm in right now. But you're supposed to give people out of love, y'all. Y'all know that. Therefore, God will bless you ten times fold. If you give it and don't expect it back. Or you give it out of love or out of the kindness of your heart. But right now, I'm begrudging buying these three gifts. So... Because I wasn't expecting it, y'all. I wasn't expecting no gifts from nobody. And now I, I literally feel obligated to buy these people something because they put something on my desk. Mm. And on top of that, I'm not making any more Christmas bags because if I was, you know, I would actually make them a bag and give it to them. Get what I'm saying? But the persons, the people that actually... <laughs> put something on my desk. I actually bought something for my store. Get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, man. So that's, that's double, that's double obligated. Like, dang. You know what I'm saying, y'all? And me acting like that, that means I'm begrudging and giving. And it says if you gotta begrudge and give, don't give it at all. But I'ma still feel guilty if I don't give. Get what I'm saying? So I might as well just get over and come up out of my feelings of being frugal and just go ahead and just bless. Okay? But anyway, y'all stay blessed, stay faithful, stay humble, and most of all, y'all stay safe. And make sure you share my video. Make sure you thumbs it up. Leave me a comment. And y'all, we are positive vibe people on this channel only. 
If you got anything negative to say, believe me, you can criticize. But do it out of love. Don't be nasty and hateful about the criticism. Just criticize me out of love. Tell me, hey, Goldie, you could have did it this way. You could have said it that way. Get what I'm saying? Show some love in it. Don't be all mean with it. Cussing me out. Okay. <laughs> I don't like to get cussed out. <laughs> Feel YouTube and comments, okay? But anywho, you guys, I am literally finna get up off this uh, camera. And again, woo, that reminds me. Mm. Yep. I'm finna get up off this camera so y'all share the video, thumbs up the video, comment the video, share the video, subscribe to my channel, and all that good stuff in between. And also make sure you shop at candycanecorners.com for all your uh, Valentine's gift, all your Kwanzaa gifts, and whatever everyday gifts that you want to give somebody, okay? Check out the store, shop at the store, and leave me a good review when you get the stuff from the store. Okay? And with that, I am going to say peace.